Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. This is the first video of the channel, Understanding the Heart. The heart is one of the many organs in our body. It is like a house separated by the septum and valves into different rooms where blood can travel in and out of. It functions as a pump to move blood around so oxygen and nutrients can be provided to the other cells to keep us alive and allow us to function. Just like our house, the functioning of the heart relies heavily on the different parts. When these parts malfunction, it will result in different kinds of illnesses. Therefore, to understand diseases affecting the heart, we first need to learn the components that mix it up. The first component that we are going to learn about are the muscles. Being a pump, the main component of the heart are the muscles. These specialized muscle cells contract and relax to generate the pumping action of the heart squeezing blood through our body. These muscles form the outer walls of the house and have room inside to contain the blood. Similar to other muscles in our body, the heart muscles can also grow and thicken in response to stress or can weaken from disease processes, resulting in heart failure. The second component are the valves. The valves form the doors and the septum are the inner walls separating the heart into different chambers. The right side of the heart receives used blood from all over the body, sending it into the lungs to be restocked, whilst the left side of the heart contains oxygenated blood and distributes it to the other parts of the body. The movement of blood is maintained within a one-way system via the heart valves which prevents the backflowing of blood. This allows the blood rich in oxygen to flow towards the organs that need it and blood which are depleted of oxygen to return to the lungs to be replenished. There are four main valves within the heart with one between the chambers on either side and one just before the main arteries which are the aortic and pulmonary arteries. Problems can arise when the valves become too tight, restricting blood flow across the valve or becomes leaky, allowing backflow of blood. The next component are the electrical wiring of our heart. The muscles are controlled by an internal pacemaker known as the sinoatrial node, which sends electrical activity down the wiring of the heart. Just like the light switches in our house, the electricity instructs the muscles to move. This regulated rhythmic movement of the heart chambers allows sequential flow of blood from one end to the other. We can monitor the activity through an electrocardiogram or ECG and identify problems that are associated with it, such as irregular heart rhythm or even heart attacks. The last component are the coronary arteries. The muscles require energy to contract and this is supplied by its specialized plumbing the coronary arteries. These are small arteries on the surface of the heart that supplies the muscles with blood, providing it with oxygen and nutrients so it can function. Similar to the pipes at home, these arteries can clog up which will limit blood supply and can result in angina or even heart attacks, one of the commonest causes of death in the world. These are the four main components that mix up the heart into an organ. As I discuss each of the disease processes, I will refer to how the components are affected and how we can prevent and treat it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting videos twice a week so hit the bell icon to be notified. Please comment below if there are any particular topics that you would like me to cover and I will try my best to do it. If you would like to get in touch, please email me or DM me on my social media platform. Thank you for watching.